Morning, welcome to Next Day Solar. We're here at Dirty Bikers in the Algarve in Portugal, and this is Hubco Electric Bike. And we're going to see if we can get them charging off some 100 watt solar panels. We're going to string them up in series, and then we're going to use a 48 volt charge controller to see how far we go. So let's, let's see where we get to. Before we kind of we paralleled all the panels. Yeah, no, I was doing that because it made sense to do because we don't need a high voltage. But here we actually need a high voltage. We need higher than 48 volts. So what we'll do is we'll test the bike first. We we'll actually just test the voltage of the battery and make sure that we actually see that. So I'm getting 41 volts from these two. So I'm going to keep stringing them up so I get about 80. Yeah, okay. And also it means your cable is much simpler. So basically I've got a string here now. Yeah. We've got one end here, the other end there. And I'll just join them up to the charge controller and test our voltage. That's basically it. You get lovely sun here. All right, so this is a charge controller we're going to use. 100 uh, volt, 20 amps. It's got 25 amp fuse, which means that you can't blow it and you can't break it. It's V-direct if you need it. We're just going to carry on wiring that up. Okay, so we just wired up our charge controller. So this is the charger that a certain branded bike, which I'm covering, comes with. And it takes an AC supply from the grid and then obviously converts it down to 48 volt. And you've just simply got live and neutral out. We've just taken that live and neutral to the battery and we're gonna plug this into our four solar panels there and see if the bike will take a charge. So that's what we're gonna do now. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do an update on the device. This is the first time we're using the device and Victor sometimes update their firmware, so we're just updating that. And what we're gonna do is change the battery outputs. At the moment it's designed for 12 or 24 or 48 and we need to change that. So what we're gonna do is we've got max charge current now. now Obviously, we know the bikes take about 480 watts. That's about 10 amps. So I'm just going to change that to 10 amps. So even if we had like loads of solar in, because you might want more solar than the bike takes a 480 watt charge, but you might want a kilowatt of solar. So on cloudy days, it's still charging. So we've changed that down. Charge is enabled. Battery preset. I'm going to do select preset. And I'm going to do lithium. So basically, we're seeing 77 volts come in, not using any current. It's showing the battery at 56 volts because it's got nothing connected to it. Let's plug it in and just see. And what we want to see is that watts really jump up. So let's see. You probably know this better than I do, but you basically just push in and twist. Push in and twist. Okay, and there we go. Watts are climbing slowly, 100 watts. We are charging the bike off solar as we speak. Okay, so it's reading the battery voltage at 50 volts, which is fine because the nominal battery voltage is 50 volts, and we're happily charging the bike. Okay, so we're getting about 250 watts. Let's see if it will climb. MPPT charge controller will find the perfect point, so it's kind of trying to balance voltage and current itself to give the best output. You're not always going to get full, full power from these panels. It's also quite hot as well, so panels are slightly less efficient, but our panel voltage is 68 volts. It's moving around, it's moving around, it's fine at optimal point, and we are charging. So we are charging your bikes at three amps at 50 volts, which is about 200 watts as we speak. So we are solar charging the Alpco bike, probably for the first time ever. It's good. Fantastic. And any ideas on charge time with that? Actually? Well, so you've got a battery here of three kilowatts, okay? So, I mean, it, we're moving around in terms of the heat and the shade and the direction. We could we could move the panels around to optimize that. So you've got three kilowatt batteries, about three, 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 3,000 watt hours, sorry, 300 watt hours. That's about, at the moment on 200 watts, it's about seven or eight hours, right? Because we're not giving it the full 480 that it's sometimes used to. Well, I would say probably two things is you could add more panels easily. Also, I was gonna say, the other thing you're doing is you're, you're looking after the battery a bit more because charging it rapidly with the Ubco charger, it's 10 amps. It's, it's quite a hard, hard, fast charge, and the battery's fine with it, but batteries will last longer the more gently they're looked after. So if you give it a more slow, gradual charge, if you don't need that rapid charge, your battery life will be much better, Sure. 100%. So that's the Victron app, which is showing the charge, charge battery voltage of 50 volts, perfect. We're putting five amps, so 260 watts now, from these four basic solar panels, and that's the Ubco fully electric bike twin motor front and back. So can you solar power an Ubco? I think that's the principle. With very little kit, I've got no battery, no inverter, nothing, completely off grid yet. Just want to show you the on-screen display. So battery's under half, and one of the features that the Ubco bike has actually is a charge disconnect. So when you charge, whether it's from solar or however, it'll disconnect. I'm just going to show you that safety feature as well. I think it's quite important to explain that, yeah, straight out. Battery recognizes there's a charge, solar charger kicks in and it's picking up wattage. So we're just going to show you how we've made this attachment here to actually ride with the solar panels. So if you're wording a really long ride, what's the range of the bikes, Brad? Uh, they get 120 kilometers. Wow. Is, is maximum wow. range, yeah. It's yeah. obviously dependent on the weight of the person sure, and how aggressively sure. they're riding. Sure, sure. So you could be riding, you know, 50, 60 Ks 
got the chargers out for lunch. I mean, you'd, you'd get decent charge over lunch. I mean, if you've got 400 watts coming in, you know, that's almost around one fifth, one sixth of the battery over lunch for an hour, back on the road you are. So let's, we'll just disconnect that. It's just something to mention is we've taken one panel out and one of the important principles of lithium batteries is that you need a higher power on the solar than the battery. So you can see here the solar's 55 volts and the battery's 50 volts. We're still able to charge. If that voltage went below, then the battery wouldn't be able to charge um, because you do need a higher voltage. It kind of makes sense trying to sort of put something into the battery lower than what it actually is. So that's, that's just to show you there. We've got the three panels there. And what Brad's doing is just hooking up the solar panel onto the, on the attachment there. And there you have it, <laughs> your, your perfect solar panel carrier, fantastic. I think it's fully electric bike, three kilowatt, twin motor, front and rear, absolutely fantastic. You can hear a bit of an audible noise, but if I release the throttle, it's totally silent. Absolutely fantastic way to get around full of power, maximum speed 45 kilometers an hour due to restrictions, but I'm sure that could be adjusted if you needed to. Fully low road legal here, license plate and all, an absolutely fantastic ride. So we're just following one of the instructors as we go on our tour. We're going to uh, some off-road parts of the Algarve. And again, these bikes can be fully solar powered, 48 volt battery, float voltage of 50 volt, easy to wire up to a 48 volt Victron solar charge controller and uh, charge away. So this bike is most in its element on dirt roads. It's a two by two, so nice off-road knobbly tires. So this is where we're testing it. You know, gravel roads, Portugal, fantastic bike, fiddling along enjoying nature without streaming along with fumes coming out of your exhaust power whenever you need it plenty of grip lovely soft suspension it's a fantastic way of traveling around in a carbon free method we can charge a bike without a bulky uh, charger now this is the charger that the bikes come with and no disrespect to them but it's a big heavy lump of of, of metal and kit and actually with some panels that you could actually attach to the bike pretty easily i mean it may not be the perfect solution but you could easily attach panels here and here with nothing more than a charge controller you could principally charge the bike from wherever you are so you stop for lunch you stop wherever you are you simply plug in using the standard ubco plug charge controller there we followed all the ubco regs in terms of float voltage absorption voltage on the batteries we know quite a lot about lithium batteries anyway and you've got you've got a proper solar powered means of getting around so thanks for brad for having us here we've had a great time we've been out on the bikes as you'll see and uh, we, we look forward to more solar powered days thank you we've managed to get the bikes charging we're absolutely over the moon it's fantastic um, and yeah here's to the future with uh, next day solar and dirty bikers